Hey, what's up guys? I'm Jace, independent personal trainer for almost 25 years, a former fitness competitor, and also a self-proclaimed gym junkie and gym rat for almost 30 years. So today I'd like to show you three different weight collars. Now, first let's determine what a weight collar is. A weight collar is simply a device that you put onto either side of a Olympic bar and that prevents the weight plates from falling off. Now you might ask, why don't we just use spring collars like you see at the gym? It basically just comes down to, we like our toys. So the first set of collars we're looking at are the Rogue Oso collars. Now these retail for about $67 US for the pair. They're really nice in terms of the form factor, they're aluminum, they feel really premium, and they also, what I love, my favorite thing, is they have magnets so you can store right on your rack. Now when I first got these collars, I found using them, the lever was like super tight, but as it got used to it, they did loosen up and they got a lot easier to use. So the only downside I found with these collars is when I put them on and I tighten up that clip, with the magnets installed in the collar, it would actually attach right onto the weight plate, which actually felt great. But once I tightened up that lever, the collar itself actually scratched the weight plate, as you can see. So if you really care about aesthetics of all your equipment, this could be a deal breaker. So the next set of collars I'd like to show you are the Alico Open Collars. So these collars are really neat. I've never seen anything designed like this, and it's, I believe, the first in its kind. So you take the collar, which is shaped like a C, you put it on your bar, you pull down on the lever and it clamps right down, keeping your plates from falling off. So again, one of my favorite features with the Oppen collars is they have a magnet so that it stores nicely right on your rack. The only downside I can see to these collars is the fact that it seems like it's made out of a hard plastic, which doesn't make it feel as premium as the Rogue collars. So lastly, we have the Prolock 2 chain collars. Those retail for $92 US. So as you can see, these collars have clips on the ends. So you can actually attach bands or chains and actually that will help and change how your load is distributed when you're doing your lifts. So the neat thing is with this collar, you can do additional exercises. For example, as you can see here, I'm doing a landmine row. I've placed my Olympic bar into a landmine attachment. I put the collar on the other end and attach a handle onto the clip. So the Prolock 2 collars can add a lot of versatility to your exercise library. My only two downsides I can see from them is the material is made out of really hard nylon. Um, so I worry kind of about durability. As well, it doesn't have the capability to store right on your rack with magnets. So those are the three premium weight collars. We have the Rogue Oso collars, which just feel super premium. We have the Alico Oppen collars, which the design is just really fantastic. And then we have the Prolock 2 chain collars, which really add a lot of versatility to add more exercises with clips. I hope you enjoy this quick review and insight into those three collars. I'll leave links below in the description for where you can purchase all three. Actually, hold on, on a side note, if you haven't seen my previous video reviewing the Newell Bell 580s and the PowerBlock adjustable dumbbells, the Canadian distributor Finer Form has informed me that anyone now that purchases the Newable 580s, that's actually the set that I personally have. Um, I kept them out of the two. If you purchase a the set, they'll throw in a free weight bench. Um, you could check it out the deal. I'll leave the link in the description below. Check it out if you're interested. And um, that's it. So I'm Jace and I'll see you on the next one.